With AI's sudden rise to prominence in the last year, there's more AI tools available than ever. Whether you want to use a standalone chatbot or an AI utility integrated directly into your favorite app, there's an option out there for you. Today, we're going to take a closer look at two specific AI tools that you might be considering, ChatGPT and Notion AI. We'll see how both of them stack up to each other, and we'll help you answer the question, is Notion AI worth it? Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use AI and workflow automation to create reliable time-saving processes. If you'd like more tips on automation and AI every week, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications too. In this video, I'm going to compare the features of ChatGPT and Notion, and I'll explore how each app can fit into your workflow. I'll also break down pricing for both Notion AI and ChatGPT, so you can decide which is a better value for you and your team. Let's get into it. First, let's take a look at the key differences between each app's user experience, or UX. ChatGPT is a standalone chatbot. To use ChatGPT, you just need to create an account at chat.openai.com. Enter your prompt into the text box and wait a moment for your AI answer. The UI is pretty much a standard messaging interface. You'll see every recent chat and a menu on the left, and you'll see your conversation with the AI in the main window at the middle of the screen. On the ChatGPT home screen, you'll see a few suggestions for prompts that you might want to try out for yourself. Clicking on any of these will instantly enter the prompt into a new ChatGPT conversation, and ChatGPT will immediately begin generating its answer. While ChatGPT is a standalone app, Notion AI, on the other hand, is an integrated AI tool that is built directly into Notion. And if you're not familiar with Notion, it's a highly versatile app for creating documents, tracking projects, and building a wiki for your team. Each page or table can be extensively customized with configurable blocks, including a recently added block for Notion AI. Like any block, Notion AI can be accessed by simply typing the forward slash command and searching for the block's name. Once you've added an AI block, you can enter a prompt into a text box in basically the same way as you would in ChatGPT. Similarly to ChatGPT's suggestions, you can also use some of Notion's pre-configured prompt templates. These will automatically enter a prompt to perform a common action like translating text or finding action items inside a paragraph. However, Notion AI also offers a couple of alternative ways to enter your prompts. If you want to reference an existing document or passage of text in your prompt, you can simply highlight that text in Notion and then type a related prompt. For instance, you might want to ask Notion AI to expand on the highlighted text or to change its tone or style. Finally, Notion AI allows you to create AI blocks. AI blocks allow you to run a pre-configured prompt with the click of a button. For example, you might want to add an AI block with a find action items prompt into a meeting notes template. That way, you can just click on the AI block to get a summary of each meeting after you filled out the notes. Ultimately, ChatGPT and Notion AI offer two very different ways of interacting with AI, but do these two AI tools actually perform different functions? Despite their distinctly different user experiences, Notion AI and ChatGPT actually boast very similar capabilities. Relying on language models, both can generate realistic text for nearly any context or use case that you can think of. They can handle creative writing, like writing poems or drafting marketing copy for a newsletter, or offer up a list of vacation activities for you and your family, or brainstorm a chore schedule for keeping the house clean. Notion AI and ChatGPT can also help you check the spelling and grammar of a passage of text, or translate that text into another language. You can even ask both AI tools to help you write code and scripts, although their answers won't always be 100% reliable but they're usually an excellent starting point for building a section on a web page or creating a function or formula to use in Google Sheets or Airtable. Both Notion AI and ChatGPT are also capable of formatting the text they generate. Using a simple syntax called Markdown, which is very popular among web applications, they can add headings to their answers, apply bold or italic styles, and even create tables and checkboxes. After some testing, the only difference we found so far is that Notion AI can create fully functional toggle lists, while ChatGPT seemingly can't. But let us know in the comments down below if you found some other discrepancies between the two. We'd be curious to hear it. Since Notion uses Markdown to format all of its blocks, any formatting that Notion AI uses will be applied in the app. All of the headings, textiles, tables, and other formatting options will work in the exact same way as any formatting that you apply manually in Notion. 
When you copy text generated by ChatGPT, you'll also copy the markdown formatting along with it. Then when you paste the text into an app like Notion that supports markdown, all of the formatting will be preserved. So with either Notion AI or ChatGPT, you can get fully formatted and styled text in response to your prompts. However, if you're using ChatGPT, you'll need to copy and paste the AI's answer into whatever app you'd ultimately like to store and publish it in. With Notion AI, your formatted answers will already be generated in an app that's ideal for keeping track of your documents. Just as the two AI tools have similar strengths, they also have similar weaknesses. As AI language models, they're excellent at producing sentences that sound like they could have been written by a human, but they're not always so great at math or even just counting. Complicated math problems often stump both AI tools, and neither is particularly good at sticking to a word or character limit. However, as long as you're using these AI tools for the language processing that they're meant for, they can both perform virtually all of the same tasks and perform them pretty well. The key difference is that Notion AI's answers are integrated directly into your Notion pages, while ChatGPT's answers will need to be copied and pasted into another app. If Notion is already a key part of your workflow, Notion AI could be a much more efficient AI tool. However, if you're not already a Notion user, or if you want to use AI prompts to generate text in multiple different applications, Notion AI won't offer as much of a benefit. With our earlier talk of language models, some more technical viewers might be wondering which models do Notion and ChatGPT actually use? The answer for ChatGPT is very simple. As you can see when you open up the app, ChatGPT offers two models at the time of this recording, GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. However, GPT 4 is only accessible to users with a plus plan. We'll discuss that plan in more detail in the pricing section of this video. 3.5 and 4 are similar language models built by OpenAI, the organization that developed ChatGPT. However, GPT-4 is a more advanced model. It's been trained with more parameters, or pieces of text that it learns from. You can learn more about the specific details of each model in OpenAI's API docs, which you can find in the resources board linked in the description of this video. While ChatGPT openly advertises their language models, Notion isn't quite so forthcoming. Notion doesn't disclose any information about the exact language model, and if you turn to Google, you'll see there's some confusion on the topic. Some sources claim that Notion AI uses Anthropic's Claude LLM, while others state that Notion AI uses Lambda, an open source model released by Meta, aka Facebook. However, based on Notion's official documents, it appears that Notion AI is using a language model developed by OpenAI. In all likelihood, this is some version of ChatGPT, but we can't be sure which one precisely. When Notion AI first rolled out, Notion expert Thomas Frank noted that their product terms stated, Notion uses technology provided by OpenAI LLC to provide Notion AI. That product terms page he referenced is no longer available. However, in the supplementary terms page for Notion AI, it's stated today that you may not use the Notion AI features in a manner that violates any OpenAI policy. So despite some claims to the contrary, it seems almost certain that Notion AI uses an open AI language model. GPT 3.5 Turbo is generally one of the most commonly used models for third-party apps, but there are several models that they also could be using. At any rate, it's pretty clear from their output that Notion AI and ChatGPT are using similar models. But if you want to make sure that you have access to the latest model, or GPT 4, you'll need to use ChatGPT+. While we're on the subject of ChatGPT+, let's talk pricing. ChatGPT offers two plans, a free plan and ChatGPT+, which is $20 per month. The free plan provides access to GPT 3.5 with no hard limits on how many messages you can send. However, you may lose access to ChatGPT whenever the app is experiencing heavy traffic. ChatGPT Plus grants you access to GPT 4 and ensures that you can access the app at any time. As long as ChatGPT isn't experiencing a total outage, you'll be able to use it. With ChatGPT Plus, you can send an unlimited number of messages to GPT 3.5 and 50 messages every three hours to GPT 4. Note that this limit has already been raised once since ChatGPT Plus was launched, so it's likely to continue to increase in the future. You can also use optional plugins with GPT 4. Note that these plugins may require paid plans on their own, but many are free to use, at least for now. Several of these plugins are still in beta too, and they may introduce paid plans once they've completed a release version. Notion AI offers a free demo and an add-on for paid plans that costs $10 per month per user. 
The free demo provides each Notion user with a limited number of AI requests. The exact limit depends on how many people are in your Notion workspace. Larger workspaces get more free Notion AI prompts. Ultimately, the limit isn't readily visible until you've already reached it, but it appears that users get at least 20 requests that they can use to try out Notion AI. A paid Notion AI plan has no hard limits, but Notion does note that your usage may be limited if it's deemed excessive. Notion often lists Notion AI at $10 per user per month, but this is a little misleading. You already need to have a Notion paid plan to sign up for Notion AI, and their paid plans start at $10 per user per month. Both $10 charges can be brought down to $8 per month if you pay annually. So Notion AI will cost you either $16 or $20 per month at a minimum if you don't already have a Notion subscription. Perhaps the biggest difference in pricing is that you have to purchase Notion AI for every user in your workspace, while a single ChatGPT Plus account can easily be shared with a few users through a password manager like 1Password. So when you're comparing the pricing of both platforms, remember that the $10 per user per month charge will apply to every user in your Notion workspace. Ultimately, Notion AI is great for Notion power users. If Notion is the backbone of your company, holding your wikis, docs, and data, Notion AI is well worth the extra eight to $10 per user per month, as long as you're planning to make AI content writing a central part of your everyday work. With Notion AI, you can stay focused in Notion instead of going back and forth to copy and paste text out of a standalone app like ChatGPT. However, if you want to add AI output to several different apps, or if you want a robust free option, ChatGPT is going to be the better choice. With so many AI tools coming out every day, there's something for every use case. Which AI tool do you prefer to use? And are there any AI tools that you want us to cover on the channel? Let us know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's Workflow Designer course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation, and how to integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Just go to this URL to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list today to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.